morning guys, welcome to summer daily vlog number four. I am definitely gonna lose track of the numbers after like 10. Today I'm obviously back home and I'm actually in the car at the moment, not driving, obviously. <laughs> Funny isn't it, pass your test and I still ask for lift. Lasks, ask for lifts everywhere. Anyway, right now I'm going to meet my friend Eden in town and then after that I think um, I'm gonna see Tom very briefly. Uh, Tom actually passed his theory test this morning so that's like why I'm seeing him. I was gonna go with him but he booked his theory test at 8 a.m. and I was like, no, sorry. Yeah, I'm not too sure what else today will entail. It might be a bit of a different vlog because obviously this is the first summer vlog where I've been at home. Um, but I'm quite excited to vlog it. I'm not too sure what we'll get up to, but I'm gonna bring you along. Also, I've actually switched back to the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and just like, look how good this is. Yes, loving this. Yeah, I actually bought this when I was in Edinburgh because my Urban Decay one ran out and I forgot how good it is. Like I haven't put eyeshadow on so you can see my lashes a bit better, but like, Okay guys, so I am now back from town and I thought, because I didn't really vlog anything in town, well, I didn't vlog anything at all because it's raining and I was not very long, um, I thought I'd do a bit of a makeup haul because I've really kind of been sent a couple of bits but also I've bought a couple of things. So I thought I'd just do a little like drugstore makeup haul. In fact, no, most of it's not drugstore but some of it is. So I thought I'd do that and I'm gonna start with the things that, well, actually I've been sent all of them apart from this which I've already mentioned. I was gonna show you this but you guys, I've already mentioned it. So this is the Maybelline Lash Sensation just bought another one of these because needed one and run out of mascara so the next product that I've got recently is this this is the airbrush away radiance boosting primer now I actually received this last week but I started using it this week and absolutely love it it's honestly kind of metallic and you put it under your makeup and it just makes your um, base look really like metallic-y and shiny but like in a nice way not in a bad way so yeah that is by number seven so this next product is by brow Coty. now I don't know if any of you have heard of this but they kindly sent this eyebrow gel out to me quite a while ago now and as you can see I've been using it it's quite dirty in there but honestly this keeps my eyebrow makeup on loads so for like base eyebrows I use the Elamasca like powder in the shade thunder and then I just go over it with this now I think this really does make a difference because my eyebrows are quite like like sparse and used to like the makeup comes off them in fact you'll have seen my vlog yesterday I was like I'm pretty sure my eyebrow makeup's come off that was because I didn't use this like genuinely afterwards I was like oh wait I didn't put the clearing gel on so I've been absolutely loving Loving this so thank you so much to the team at brow coty for sending me that out you can buy this in superdrug because i checked so if you're interested in something that keeps your eyebrows on this might be for you so the next thing that i've really kindly been sent out uh i think this was last week but obviously i've been away quite a lot so i haven't really received any of these recently so they've all kind of been out once but this is from secret scent box now you guys can get 15 percent off this and basically what it is is it's a subscription service so they kindly sent me this one out which is this month's and it basically has three different scents in it so there is one from dolce Gabbana, one from Burberry and one from FC UK. Um, I have taken this one away with me to Scotland mainly because these are the perfect size for travel like they're so good for handbags but also I absolutely love this perfume and I've actually used this one before by FC UK so yeah I really really like these they're perfect for travel size so if you wanted to get 15% off you can use the code beauty spectrum 15 it's on screen now as well so if you're interested perfect for like the holidays and really nice little small box as well I love that when brands don't like over package something so then definitely the most exciting delivery has come from Sigma. Now I've never actually spoken to the people at Sigma before until a couple of weeks ago and they've kindly sent me out this press release which is so exciting. Now the packaging was better than this obviously I've already opened it but I'm going to talk you through what's in all of these because I'm so so grateful so thank you so so much to the team at Sigma for sending me these out. So in this box I think there were three lipsticks yeah. Now I've actually already used one of them but they're these two here which are power crayons and I've got them in the shade Ode to Pink and Rubicuno? Rubicund? Rubicund. I can read. Wow, Molly, great. Um, so obviously darker red and a pink red, so I'm super excited to try those out. There was another one, but I've already used that. It's upstairs. Now, this travel kit I actually did take to Edinburgh with me, so if you were being super observative, observative? Observant. There we go. Wow, I can talk as well as read. On the other vlogs, you might have seen me using this. Now, this is actually a pot of makeup brushes in this absolutely gorgeous just design like you can see my fingerprints all over it but basically you just use the poppers and the lid pops off and then boom inside you got yourself about 12 makeup brushes no one two three four five six seven eight makeup brushes then I'm super excited about this this is a makeup brush cleaner which I've wanted for so long I've really contemplated getting the real techniques one but now I have this one by Sigma and yeah thank you so much for sending me that and then lastly in this like oblong package uh actually I can't remember what is in 
this one. Let's have a look. So I've got two mascaras. One of them is black and then one of them is brown, I think. Yeah, brown. So black and brown mascara. This is a gorgeous little highlighter duo. I'm excited to try that because uh, one's like a golden shade and this one's kind of yellowy. I love the like really nice packaging on that. Look at that. And then this here is a shimmer cream, which is in the shade Sultry. And I believe this might be an eyeshadow. I think it's a loose pigment. Yeah, love the packaging. Look at that. Talk about a spectrum of colours. Wow. So yeah, that is everything for my makeup haul. These have all kindly been sent out to me or I've bought these... Uh, uh, in the last like 10 days or so so I thought I'd just show you them because some of you might want to see and I haven't got that much else to vlog today although I am about to go out now so I'm bringing you with me there but I thought I'd show you because a lot of you will have like wondered if I was using them in vlogs or maybe you wouldn't have done and you just wanted to have a nosy but yeah I'm gonna head out now so I'll bring you along so I'm actually back in the car I'm in the back of the car because Harry's here probably don't want to be in the vlog in fact you haven't been in my summer vlogs yet he's got a new top Harry don't want to show you his top because Harry is so moody so we're actually going to the range is the range like a national thing well people know what that is yeah um because I want to get a sketchbook for my photography because you guys know that I do photography a level but I've actually restarted my project so I've put the sketchbook well I haven't put it in the bin but like I'm not going to use the one school gave me because I want to start again I want to buy a black one and they don't sell black ones like anywhere in town so we need to go to the range which is like in Hull so we're heading there but I also want some other stationary bits and bobs for like my year 13 courses so I thought why not why not just get it all together at the same time so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now uh, so I'll bring you along I actually really like watching people buy like stationary and stuff I know that's really sad but like people that do back to school hauls this is not a back to school haul because it's July still but yeah, it's it's for year 13, so we'll we'll call it that instead. Here we go. I hope they have it. I feel like this is one of those places that you come when you need one thing and then you walk out with like a whole basket full of stuff. When I was little, the craft section in here was honestly my favourite place. I was such an arty, arty, arty child. Let's find a black sketchbook. Come on. Okay, so these are sketchbooks. Where are the black ones? Uh, really? Surely they're here somewhere. I don't see any. <laughs> okay, so we want shiny paper. Oh my God, 25 pounds. Are you joking me? I don't want that. I don't want that much. I just want like some shiny paper to print my pictures on. Where? Where? Is this even the right stuff? So, found these. Now on the mission for a guillotine, which is such a random thing to want. It's basically a huge knife. Probably gonna buy some unnecessary stickers just because I really want this book to be nice. Ooh, just plain silver strips. Gonna get them. Also, found the guillotine. This is a really fun vlog, isn't it? So I found all the stuff that I needed from the downstairs. Now I'm coming upstairs to look at the homeware stuff. So this is probably not going to end well either because I would absolutely love a new bedside lamp because mine is just like really old and horrible. But then like this is already 16 quid and I didn't want to, I only came up for a sketchbook. I always think now like when I'm looking at homewares and stuff, I'm always looking for like, obviously at some point I'm going to be moving out. Like if I go to university next year. So really I want all the stuff to be stuff that I'd want in like, not a house, but like an apartment or something. If I go to uni, which I probably won't. Oh my God. God, this has got the New York skyline in the light. Oh my god, that's so cool. You guys can't see it. I absolutely love looking at like fake bedroom stuff like this. I'm so sad. Oh my god, this chair would match my room. Wow. Don't need a chair though. I've got nowhere to put a chair. Would love a new office chair though, so let's go over here. Harry's found one. I don't even have an office. I don't know why I said office. I meant desk chair. Harry out of 10, how comfy? Is yours better? I absolutely love these. Yeah, when I have like a house or an apartment, I will totally have a like like that. Oh wait, what about these ones? They're okay. I'm so indecisive. I think I'm gonna look on the IKEA website instead, but I really want like a desk light and a bedside light that match because mine's horrible and I don't actually have a desk light. So that corner of my room, like I used to have fairy lights there, but I've taken them down because um, the batteries, I've just never put new batteries in them. So they're always just, they don't work. So yeah, don't really know. I'm gonna look on IKEA, I think. What I'd love would be like some something like this but one that you plug in because I always have to change batteries and I never bother changing them like an M that you plug in that lit up would be really ideal no I know but I don't know this is all right I guess 5.99 that's not bad also worked out I might need a new mirror maybe possibly probably not but yeah looking anyway okay guys it's been ages since i spoke to you i've actually just had a shower obviously as you can tell i say just like had a shower a couple of hours ago and now i really need to tidy up my room i haven't unpacked my bag since i got back from edinburgh which is really really bad but i'm so bad at unpacking like when i get back from a place the last thing i want to do is unpack my bag like i just can't bring myself to do it so my room such a mess right now but yeah i really do need to do it but in the meantime i've just been looking at some photos of like haircuts and stuff you know when you get like sucked into that trend on instagram and and I'm really, really into minds about whether or not I should get my hair cut shorter again, like kind of how it was probably about three months ago now, like 
this kind of length here um or if i should let it grow back out like i really can't decide if i want long or short hair like i in my head i think i kind of look better with shorter hair but then i've been looking at photos of me from last summer with really long hair and i'm like oh i don't know i really can't decide so let me know in the comments what you think would suit me better whether i should carry on growing it or go and get a haircut because i really can't decide like obviously right now it looks really ratty but like i've just got out of the shower but it's this kind of length at the minute do i carry on letting it grow or put it back short again anyway i am gonna tidy up my room it is such a mess like, i don't know if you can even see this look at that so i'm gonna pop on probably a vlog and just tidy up for probably like half an hour it's a job that should take five minutes but it won't take me five minutes because i will get distracted so i might do a cheeky time lapse to be honest so hopefully that will make me motivated to actually do something next morning and I realised I never actually said goodbye after I tidied my room. So I came to edit the vlog. I was like, oh, there's no ending. So here we go. Here's the ending. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. There will be another vlog going up tomorrow. And then I've got a main video going up on Monday that I think you're going to absolutely love. Had a lot of questions about it. So hopefully you're going to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. So I will see you tomorrow night at 6pm. Wait, will it be tomorrow night? What day is this going up? Sunday? Yes, Monday, 6pm. See you then. Bye, guys.